Hello clients. Today I am going to talk on the topics complex numbers, which is the first chapter for eleventh arts and science of SSC Board Maharashtra Maharashtra State Board. Due to the corona problem our students are at home presently and so my friends my relatives requested me to take few sessions for mathematics so myself professor lute bibi will take few sessions on maths paper 2 and my friend dr pg jadhav from alifada college will going to take topics from maths paper 1 so today we'll start the complex number chapter you are well familiar with set of natural numbers which are studying from first school level that is from first standard up to natural number you come across the concept set of whole numbers just by inserting zero you get that one if i enclose this list in curly bracket it is a set so set of whole numbers is 0 1 2 3 dot dot etc then you have studied concept of integers which is denoted by z or i and it contains natural numbers 1 2 3 so on that whole number 0 and negatives of natural numbers minus 1 minus 2 dot dot etc after that you come across set of rational numbers in 6th or 7th standard fractions so number of form say 2 by 3 3 by 2, 11 by 6, 2 by 1, one integer upon other integer, where denominator not equal to zero. That type of number is known as rational number. So p by q, where p q are integers and q not equal to zero. I can take q to be natural number only. Q to be natural number only. The real number. Irrational number. You have to study Sir's. A rational number whose nth root is not rational number, whose nth root is not rational number, then that nth root of that rational number is known as Sir. And that are also numbers which are represented on line by point. If I take some line. So zero, one, two, three, and so on. Minus one, minus two. Here I represent the integers. Between zero to one, I have if I partition set into ten parts, equal parts, and so on, I'll get here one by ten, two by ten, three by ten, dot dot etc. But that are in form p by q. So that are also rational numbers. In other intervals, n to n plus one. will get also rational numbers by dividing intervals into n number of partitions you will get rational numbers but even though there gaps remains between two rational numbers also and there is no any gap between uh, two points on line this line is continuous that other points the points which are represented by p by q form that are rational number on this line and which point remains there that points also represent numbers that are known as irrational numbers that are known as irrational numbers so what is the irrational number this is your real line irrational number a number which is not rational or i'll say that real number which is not rational Okay, so if I take root two, 
रूट थ्री देन से टू बाय थ्री रेस टू वन बाय फोर एलेवन बाय फाइव रेस टू सेवन बाय फाइव फिफ्थ रूट ऑफ एलेवन बाय फाइव डजन एग्जिस्ट एंड सो ऑन आर इराशनल नंबर्स वी कैन नॉट राइट दिस नंबर्स इन पी बाय क्यू फॉर आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड टू शो हाउ दे कैन बी एक्सप्रेस इन दिस फॉर so every point on line represent a real number and conversely every real number is represented by some point on this line this line is known as real line real line and collection of all rationals and irrationals collection of all rational and irrational collection of all rationals and irrationals he is known as set of real numbers set of real numbers so what is this set natural number set this is whole number set this is integer set this is rational number r is a union of set of rational and irrational numbers till we are not study sets in detail so i am not talking about union operations on set etc so now in uh, ninth or 10th standard we have studied the quadratic equation quadratic equation we have studied linear equation so x plus by is equal to c here a or b a or b not equal to zero in r is lying linear equation why this is linear equation in this equation degree of variable x and y is 1 abc are real numbers abc are real numbers 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 7x minus 4y is equal to 2 half x minus root 2y is equal to 0 those represent lines and you have studied how to plot that lines in a plane in ninth standard then you have come across quadratic equation so equation of type x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a not equal to 0 abc are real numbers this is known as quadratic equation for example 3x square plus 5x minus 7 is equal to 0 if i take x square plus 1 is equal to 0 x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 in this equation if coefficient of x is 0 constant term is 0 even though it is quadratic equation what we want coefficient of second degree term that is x square must be non zero x square must be non zero then that equation is known as quadratic equation i am introducing quadratic equation here now if i take the quadratic equation you know that for quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 you have defined discriminant del is equal to b square minus 4ac if this is if 1 del is equal to del greater than 0 then roots are solution then roots of 1 are real and distinct real and distinct which was the in ninth standard secondly if del equal to 0 discriminant is 0 then roots are roots are real and equal okay and third if del less than 0 then the roots are not real roots are not real okay roots of 1 are given by roots of 1 are given by x is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac that is this del 
अपॉन टू ए ओके सो ये बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी निगेटिव नंबर वी नो डेट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ निगेटिव नंबर डजेंट एक्जिस्ट एज स्क्वायर ऑफ एनी रियल नंबर इज ग्रेटर इक्वल जीरो इट इज नेवर निगेटिव नंबर सो इफ आई टेक इक्वेशन से सिंपल इक्वेशन हियर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो और बिफोर दैट इफ आई टेक जस्ट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो If I take this quadratic equation for any x belongs to R, x square is greater than equal zero. Square of any real number is non-negative number. Therefore, your x square plus one is greater than equal one for every x belongs to R. This is symbol for for every for any for each. So x square plus one greater than equal zero. And therefore, x square plus one is not equal to zero for every x belongs to R. Not equal to zero. This equation has no root in set of real number. What this implies is x square plus one equal to zero has no root in set of real number. Then, now x square plus one is equal to zero. Implies x square is minus one. But x square is not minus one in set of real number, so if I take square root on both sides, we we'll get square root of minus one plus minus. This is not real number, so denote it by i symbol. This i is called as this is the Greek letter iota. Greek letter iota. Introduced by, introduced by Leonard Euler. Swiss mathematician. He introduced this i symbol for square root of minus one. Firstly, and he used that i and minus i are roots of equation x square plus one equal to zero, which are not real roots, which are not on real line. Which are represented by just line. On that, this plus minus i numbers are not there. This i symbol is iota, and this i gives rise to new number system, new numbers which are complex number, which are complex numbers. So, what is our complex number? For a b belongs to R, a number. A form z equal to a plus i b here i equal to square root of minus one is called as complex number. Is called as complex number. Set of all complex numbers. Set of all complex numbers. He denoted by C, first letter of complex C, and therefore, what is your C set? It is number of type A plus I B, where A and B are real numbers, and iota is equal to square root minus one. Square root minus one. Now, if b is zero, okay. Note for b equal to zero, or b equal to zero, z equal to a belongs to R. Z equal to a belongs to R. Implies R is subset of C. And if I take one plus i into one, b is non-zero. Then there is just Complex number which are not in R, therefore R is proper subset of set of complex number. So I am using terminology is proper subset, subset, etc. So we will study that concept detail in set chapter. Okay. So set of real numbers is subset of set of complex number. We know that a natural number is subset of whole number. Whole number is subset of integer. Integer is subset of 
rational number and rational number is subset of real numbers real number is subset of c okay so note n is contained in w w is contained in z z is contained in q is contained in r and r is contained in set of complex number okay now for complex number for complex number z is equal to a plus i b what is this a a is real part of z real part of z and it is written as r e dot z this b just b is imaginary part of z imaginary part of z and it is written as i m dot z i m dot z real and imaginary part then on uh, number system you know how to add two numbers subtract two number multiply two numbers divide one number by other so as uh, for complex number a and b are real number and additions for real number multiplication for real numbers is defined so it is possible to define operations on set of complex number addition multiplication division etc so we'll see now operations on complex numbers operations on c so let z is equal to a plus ib and say z1 z2 is equal to c plus id belongs to set of complex number then first operation z1 plus z2 z1 plus z2 is equal to now you know how to add 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 7x minus 6y is equal to say 11 in addition what you are doing you are adding like terms like term means x terms together y terms together constant term together means 9x 3 minus 6 minus 3y 11 plus 5 6 for quadratic equation if i have x square minus 5x plus 7 minus x square plus 11 if i to take addition of these two polynomial in this what, uh, what are the like terms x square x square so we will get x square minus x square so this is a plus sign here plus then plus minus 5x plus 7 plus 11 means you are adding like terms so for this z1 and z2 which are like terms real part are like terms imaginary parts are like terms so while taking addition you have to take addition of real parts a plus c and addition of imaginary part plus i times b plus b. So this is the way of defining addition operation. For difference, we will just get here a plus ib minus in bracket c plus id. Opening bracket there, we will get a minus c b minus d here. This is the difference operation. Second operation z1 into z2 or we like this as to be separate z1 minus z2 is equal to a minus c plus i times b minus d. Third operation z1 z2 a plus ib into c plus id. So while taking product what you are doing you are multiplying second bracket by first again second bracket by second. So we will get a into c plus id plus ib into c plus id this is nothing but ac plus i times ad plus i times bc plus i square bd but what is your i square i is square with minus 1 so i square is minus 1 so we will get 
ए सी प्लस आई टाइम्स ए डी प्लस बी सी माइनस बी डी नौ ए बी सी डी आर रियल नंबर सो ए सी इज रियल नंबर बी डी इज रियल नंबर सो दिस इज नथिंग बट ए सी माइनस बी बी डी प्लस आई टाइम्स ए डी प्लस बी सी ओके सो दिस इज युअर मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑपरेशन ओके सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग हि आर यू आर थिंकिंग ए सी देन बी डी एंड माइनस साइन इज दैन ए सी माइनस बी डी फॉर आई टर्न यू आर थिंकिंग ए डी एंड बी सी दिस इज फॉर आई दिस इज फॉर रियल पार्ट रियल झेड एंड दिस इज फॉर इमेजनरी पार्ट सो इन दिस वे यू आर थिंकिंग दी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स फोर वन फॉर झीरो टू नॉट इक्वल टू झीरो सी प्लस आई डी नॉट इक्वल टू झीरो झेड वन अपॉन झेड टू इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस आई बी अपॉन सी प्लस आई डी नो वट इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इज ऑफ टाइप ए प्लस आई बी डिनोमिनेटर नेवर कंटेन युअर आयोटा टर्म सो वी डोंट वॉन्ट दिस सी प्लस आई डी इन डिनोमिनेटर सो वट विल डू विल मल्टीप्लाई न्यूमिनेटर डिनोमिनेटर बाय सी माइनस आई डी ए प्लस आई बी अपॉन सी प्लस आई डी इन टू C माइनस आई डी अपॉन सी माइनस आई डी जस्ट लाइक एज रैशनलाइजेशन एंड देन वील गेट ए इंटू सी ए सी ओके देन माइनस आई ए डी प्लस आई बी सी माइनस आई स्क्वायर बी डी अपॉन सी स्क्वायर ओके माइनस आई स्क्वायर डी स्क्वायर then your i square is minus 1 so minus minus become plus so ac plus bd minus or plus i times bc minus ad i square is minus 1 so c square plus d square in bracket since i square is minus 1 so in this way your quotient operation is defined so while taking the product of two numbers while taking quotient of two numbers you have to just follow this procedure to find their products and quotient division right now we'll study the properties of these operations examples are two simple on operations okay. property <coughs> so let z1 and z2 belongs to c then फर्स्ट झेड वन प्लस झेड टू इज सेम एज झेड टू प्लस झेड वन एंड झेड वन झेड टू इज इक्वल टू झेड टू झेड वन दट इज एडिशन एंड प्लस एंड एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन of complex numbers of complex numbers are commutative operations are commutative so this is nothing but commutative law second associative If I take three numbers, z1 plus z2 plus z3 is equal to z1 plus z2 plus z3. You can easily verify these properties. For multiplication, also z1 z2 into z3 is equal to z1 z2 into z3. These are known as associative law. 
addition multiplications are associative if you take the position of bracket you will get same answer third existence of identities existence of identities in that again one there exist zero is equal to zero plus i zero belongs to c such that z one or such that a plus i b plus zero plus zero i i zero is same as a plus zero plus i times b plus zero which is equal to a plus i b or any z belongs to c and therefore zero is equal to zero plus zero i belongs to c is additive identity instead of real number we know that if we add zero in any real number we get same number we get same number fourth one existence of multiplicative identity there exist one is equal to one plus i zero belongs to c such that z such that for z is equal to a plus i b belongs to c whatever that complex number z into one is equal to a plus i b into one and this will become a into one plus i b one that is a plus i b okay as commutative to law hold there for z one z into one is same as one into z and therefore one belongs to c is multiplicative identity multiplicative identity inverse existence of inverse Okay. In that a for z is equal to a plus i b belongs to C. Then exist uh, minus z is equal to minus a minus i b. For a plus i b belongs to C, a and b are real numbers. So for that a minus a is negative real number. For b, its negative is minus b. So by using that negatives, I am writing minus a minus i b in C such that. This is symbol for there exist such that z plus minus z must be zero, must be zero, and therefore minus z is equal to minus a minus i b is negative of z is equal to i b belongs to c, right? In that b for z. Is equal to a plus i b belongs to c minus zero. C minus zero. There exist one by z is equal to one upon a plus i b, which is nothing but a minus i b upon a square plus b square. Belongs to c such that z into z bar. Uh, there exist z inverse. Z into one by Z is one, okay, and therefore one by Z, which is nothing but a minus i b upon a plus i b. Oh, sorry, a square plus b square. This is actually a upon a square plus b square plus i times minus b upon a square plus b square belongs to C. Is multiplicative inverse of is multiplicative inverse of multiplicative inverse of z is equal to a plus i of non-zero z belongs to c. For zero, there is no multiplicative inverse. For zero. There is no multiplicative inverse. Then uh, sixth one, distributive laws.
distributive laws. So firstly, we have taken community to law. Then second, associative third identity. I think this uh, is fourth. This is fifth. Okay, distributive laws. For any Z1, Z2, Z3 belongs to C. You can easily verify that Z1 into Z2 plus Z3 is equal to Z1, Z2 plus Z1, Z3. Okay. And uh, more for any Z1, Z2 belongs to C. A, Z1 plus Z2 is always complex number and B, Z1, Z2 is also complex number. These are known as closure axioms. Closure axioms of addition and multiplication. So these are the properties of addition and multiplication. Addition and multiplication. We are not going to... If I take difference operation, Difference of two complex number is must be complex number. But for two complex number Z1 and Z2, Z1 minus Z2 may not equal to Z2 minus Z1. In fact, must not equal. Only if I take Z1 and Z2 equal to 0, then 0 minus 0 is 0. Okay? Only for that, equality is there. Or, uh, no, if I take both numbers to be same, Z1 equal to Z2, that is Z say. Then Z minus Z is 0, in the reverse way also that is 0. But if I have two distinct numbers, then the difference is not commutative. So in general, difference of two complex numbers is non-commutative operation. Similarly, division of complex numbers is also non-commutative operation. So in example, you have to apply all these properties while solving examples. Now, while solving the examples, powers of i plays very important role. Powers of i. So we'll take i raised to 0 is 1, i raised to 1 is i, i square is minus 1, i cube is equal to i square into i, that is minus, sorry minus i and i raised to 4 is equal to 1 i square into i square that is 1 okay now for any n belongs to for any n belongs to set of natural number i raised to n is written as i raised to 4 q plus r here Q is quotient when n is divided by 4 when n is divided by 4 and R is remainder. So divide your n by 4 and find the remainder. Okay. For any n belongs to n, i raised to n is i raised to 4q plus r, okay, is equal to, this is equal to 0, 1, 2 or 3, okay. And therefore, i raised to n, what will be your i raised to n is equal to i raised to 4q into i raised to r, but this i raised to 4q is same as i raised to 4 raised to q into i raised to r that is 1 raised to q into i raised to r which is equal to i raised to r and this i raised to r is again 1 if remainder is 0 means if n is multiple of 4 remainder is 0 we will get i raised to n to be 1 it is i if r is 1 remainder is 1 i square i square okay i square is equal to minus 1 if r is equal to 2 and i cube is equal to minus i 
if r is equal to 3. So these powers are very important while solving the examples. So with this discussion, today we will stop our session here. I am very thankful for listening this session with patience. Okay. In next session, we will take the example parts depending on this discussion. Thanks. Bye-bye.